Hey guys, fancy seeing you here. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Rosie and I am a research assistant. Take my hand and hold it tight. I thought that it would be fun, at least for me anyway, to film a few days in my life as a research assistant. So a couple of weekdays and then the weekend. So you get a bit of variety about what I do because as you will know from watching my student vlogs, if you didn't, they're all, they're all in the I juggle a lot of things and if there's one thing that now starting in the world of work has taught me it's that I need to better balance my work and life. So with the help of my Microsoft Surface Laptop Go 2, <laughs> I can't believe I'm saying that, yes Microsoft have sponsored this video, what world, what world am I living in? This is all down to you. Just know I'm so, so grateful. I am going to be showing you how I do that. I hope you enjoy. I actually have to go to the lab, so let's speed walk. It turns out the lab is busy and actually I don't need to do what I thought I had to do because I forgot that I did it yesterday. I swear I have two degrees. But in case you're interested, this is what I got up to yesterday. I spent quite a few days in the labs over the last couple of months to undertake a pilot study of some Iron Age ceramics. I've been looking at the decorations on the sherds and using archaeological science methods like handheld XRF and microscopy to try and learn more about how they were made and also the people who made them. And a big tip here when doing any analysis like this is to always always write down everything that you do as you go trust me i've learned the hard way <laughs> just make sure every artifact has an identifying number and photograph so that you can actually match them up and i'd really recommend having a laptop with one drive or another cloud storage like i do on my microsoft surface laptop go to here so that you can then access these notes wherever you are in the future so this is my desk okay so i clearly didn't get enough sleep the night before this because nothing that i said in this next clip made any any remote sense whatsoever. Basically, what I was trying to explain is that the first thing I do every day before getting started with work, regardless of my location, is check my to-do list. If any of you've seen my organization videos, you'll already know that I love to color coordinate my to-do lists and calendars on Excel because it really helps you to prioritize different pieces of work that need doing. So top of the to-do list that day was to finish my report on the ceramics that I was looking at. In particular, I was trying to finish the figures. Whilst this is blurred, apologies, it's obviously unreleased and I don't want to share anything I'm not meant to. <laughs> I'm sure you can probably tell how vivid these images were. I was so impressed with the quality of the screen on this little laptop and also how smoothly all of the creative apps were running. Next up I had a group call on Microsoft Teams and that lasted for about half an hour before I got back to doing my report. Hello, it is the afternoon now, it's like half two and I did not realise I haven't had my lunch break yet. I need to go and have lunch because I'm actually feeling very, very hungry and just didn't notice. Hello, welcome to my kitchen. Apologies for this slightly wonky screen. I, for some reason, can't get my tripod to stand straight. I'm gonna cook tea. I was meant to go to the gym this evening, but I didn't leave work on time. I completely forgot that I'd booked a gym class. Anywho, it's not the end of the world, is it? I am gonna watch some TV whilst I cook. Wow, this is light. I'm gonna cook and watch TV at the same time. I've actually got leftovers. Pasta. And I have some sausages. So I've got these sausages. And, oh, they're actually moldy. I really wanted those sausages. That is an outrageous amount of pasta and I am so ready for it. So I know I just had to cut out that audio because of copyright, but it sounded so good. It's like surround sound. What am I doing? Friday. Today I am working from home.
home or at least I'm definitely working from home until mid-afternoon because I'm waiting for some furniture to be delivered and thankfully because I have OneDrive on my beautiful little computer here I can access all of my work work on my personal laptop which is wonderful because then I can just I can do it from my kitchen table the perceptive among you will notice that I have wet hair I did have a shower this morning look at me girl so task one is to finish the writing for my report task two is to finish the figures for my report and task three is to do the references got a lot to do I might also go work in a coffee shop or something to make myself more productive. I love being on the go constantly. I think I'm a pretty dynamic person in that I perform best with constant little changes, such as like moving desks, where you sat in a room, going to the library, working outside for an hour, going to a coffee shop. Basically, my brain needs like a new stimulus regularly to maintain productivity. So a lightweight laptop like this one is absolutely perfect because it just means it's so much easier to transport, increases my workspace flexibility and essentially allows me me to do any of my work whether that's my nine to five or my side hustles when I'm on the go however I do want to point out here that you know some days even changing things up just doesn't work and this is often a sign of burnout so trust me take a break completely away from your work brain when this happens and go for a walk or watch tv instead and try again later if you feel like it but tomorrow will always be a chance to start fresh so don't force anything Oh my god, it is boiling. I did not realise how warm it was. I've come out for a walk to go and meet friends. It's like 27 degrees. Goodness. Goodness me. I've got my laptop in here and my shoulder is not aching at all. We love to see it. chores to get through I've also got a lot of editing to get through and ideally I'd like to do some of my own independent research because I haven't had the chance to really prioritize that for a while so <laughs> I really need to get myself a weekend to-do list I'm not just gonna make a to-do list I'm gonna make sure it's broken down into small enough chunks that it's not completely pointless so if I put finish your research paper that is not gonna happen because I'm not gonna finish, realistically, the whole research paper in two days. So what I need to say is write this paragraph of the research paper. Easier said than done. gym now I have a pump class but I cannot for the life of me remember where my key is I have no idea no idea where my house key is which is not an uncommon occurrence the first present my boyfriend ever bought me was a key tile where you just like attach it to your keys and then your phone bluetooth connects to it I don't know why I just told you that because that's not fun information literally in my bag. Hey, so a uh, funny story. I spent so long looking for my keys that I was actually late to the gym class and I had to go home. So, um, I worked in the garden instead and went to the gym later. On Sunday morning, the first thing I did was actually plan my day's work and then also plan the things that I had to do on Monday too because I was going on annual leave on the Tuesday. I did this whilst watching TV. Of course, it's a Sunday morning, what do you expect? Then I packed my case for my holiday and guys, you are going to be so blown away by this fact. I watch more TV. I know. I mean, I keep saying TV as if I ever actually watched the TV, when in reality I watched everything on my Microsoft Surface laptop go-to. Yeah, 
later. Okay, it is a beautiful evening, so half of me wants to go for a walk, but the other half of me knows that I have to edit a video because I need to get a video up next week. Okay, I think I'll go for a walk. Et malheureusement, Rosie lost a keys once again, so she never made it out. I don't know why that was in a French accent. I was trying to be the Spongebob man, okay? Thank you so much for watching this video, guys. Unfortunately, that is all I've got, or potentially fortunately, depending on how you feel. But once again, thank you so much for Microsoft for sponsoring this video and for letting me try out the new Microsoft Surface Laptop Go 2. I love it. And it's linked in the description of this video. If you're interested, thank you so much for watching, guys. I genuinely appreciate each and every one of you so much. I promise that wasn't a bribe, but like, could you maybe please like the video? <laughs> oh, <laughs> you know the drill, like, comment, subscribe, share and that. Okay, I'll let you get on with your day because you're probably quite bored now. Bye!